real estate market update for end of July 2024, beginning of August 2024. This is a graph for Brampton detached homes. As you can see, in the month of July, home prices have gone down when it comes to Brampton detached homes. Number of detached homes sold have also gone down in the month of July. Brampton semi detached home, the average prices have gone up as compared to previous months. The number of semi detached homes sold have gone down pretty much same as previous to previous month. So around May. Freehold town homes have gone up in price as compared to previous month. The number of townhomes sold have gone down. Condominium townhome prices are almost same month to month. The number of condominium townhomes sold have gone down. They've been going down for the past couple of months. Condominium apartment prices have also gone down in Brampton last month. The number of condominium apartments sold have also gone down on a monthly basis. Toronto detached home prices have gone down in July. Number of uh, units sold have also gone down. Semi detached homes prices are all the same. Semi detached homes number of homes sold have gone down. Freehold town homes prices have gone down as compared to previous month. Number of homes sold are a tad bit up. Toronto condominium town homes average prices have gone down. Number of units sold have also gone down. Condominium apartment prices are a bit down almost same as compared to previous month number of units sold have been consistently going down for past four months mississauga detached home prices have gone down as compared to previous month number of homes sold have also gone down they've been going down for past two months semi-detached homes in mississauga home prices average is down number of units sold has also gone down as compared to previous month freehold town home prices are down number of Freehold townhomes sold is up just by one. Condominium townhome prices have gone down. Number of condominium townhouses sold in Mississauga have also gone down. Condominium apartment prices have been sliding down. Condominium apartment number of units sold are also down in Mississauga. Oshawa on the east end, detached homes prices have gone down a bit. Number of homes sold have also gone down. Semi-detached homes in Oshawa, the prices have gone down a bit. Number of homes sold are up a tad bit from previous month. Freehold townhomes in Oshawa, prices are almost same. Number of homes sold are almost same. Condominium townhouses, average prices are a tad bit up in Oshawa. The number of homes sold are lesser. Condominium apartment prices are a tad bit up. Number of units sold are also up. Hamilton, the detached home prices are down as compared to previous months. Number of units sold are also down. Hamilton semi-detached homes prices are down as compared to previous month. Number of units sold have also gone down a tad bit. Freehold town home average prices are down. Number of units sold are also down. Condominium town homes, the average prices are down from previous month. Number of condominium town homes being sold is also on a declining scale. Condominium apartments in Hamilton, average prices are down a tad bit. Number of units sold are also down. Hamilton, detached home prices are down month to month. Number of units sold are also down. Semi detached homes are almost same prices for past three months. Number of units sold are down a tad bit. Freehold town home prices came up a bit as compared to previous months. Number of units sold were lesser as compared to previous month. Condominium townhomes in Milton, prices are a tad bit down. Number of units sold are really marginal, but yeah, down from previous months. Condominium apartment in Milton, prices are down, and number of units sold are down as well. So July, August are summer months, so most of the buyers are looking to buy, typically buy in March, April, May, June, July, August are summer holidays time. So agents go on holidays, buyers go on holidays. So typically they're slow months. Market picks up usually in September when the fall market begins. We have had two interest rate drops. There are two more interest rate drops forecasted for 
the balance of this year and around six interest rate drops forecasted next year. So in total, there may be potentially 10 interest rate drops. Needless to say, with every interest rate drop, the affordability increases and demand should increase and prices should go up. So moving forward, you can anticipate the activity, sales and prices to pick up. So if you are a buyer looking to buy, perhaps if um, you can enter the market sooner than later, you may buy for a cheaper price and you may be buying without competing with other buyers. When you compete with other buyers, you typically pay a higher price, uh, more than the asking price. Right now you can buy below the asking price. And when you're competing with other buyers, sometimes you have to take out um, conditions for five business days to get your financing done in writing or to get a satisfactory home inspection done, which is important. Um, but as of now, you can easily get this due diligence time. So you can buy in peace um, if you're looking to enter the market in next year or so. It may be worthwhile to consider entering the market sooner than later. You can schedule your free consultation at meetj.ca and or you can give us a call at 647-208-6364 or text us there and we'll be more than happy to advise you how to proceed forward uh, in buying or selling real estate. Thank you and have a great day.